what I've been doing for the last month or so is building a table and a structure to uh, work on the spars. That's a 50 foot spar table and the greenhouse is a 20 foot by 75 foot uh, dry spot. So now I can begin shaping them. I made the table uh, perfectly level for a reference point and the first step is going to be to make sure all four sides are parallel and perpendicular with each other and then put the taper in on four sides and then turn it to eight sides 16 sides and so on until it's round uh, this one's going to be 55 feet 6 inches finished and this one's going to be 50 feet 9 inches finished. Um, they're both going to be between 12 and 13 inches in diameter. And we're dry. Wet on the outside. Dry on the inside. Well you know it's big when a fisheye lens can't get it all in. That's 10 feet high, 75 feet long. That'll be my spar hut. The rest of the spar lumber is drying well. I'm going to start uh, gluing that up and shaping it when I'm finished with the main mast and foremast. Give an illustration of what I'm going to be doing with making the mast from square to round is. Uh, you have the four-sided piece and you mark it to cut the corners off and then it's at eight sides and then you do that again with 16 sides cut the corners and you're pretty close to round at that point and then you uh, shave it off by eye and the taper is determined by uh, ratios uh, by uh, and according to length And these are all traditional. It's the way it's always been. That's how the taper is determined. It's a uh, accelerated curve is what they call it. 